Our country has two official languages, English and French. As a citizen of Canada, or someone who might be thinking of moving to Canada, are you feeling pressured to become bilingual? Hi, my name is Karen, the host of Thriving Talk, and today on my Know Your Charter series, Part 10, we are talking about Section 16 of the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. We'll be continuing discussing our language rights and how the Charter is meant to uphold these rights. All right, so just to get started, uh, just a little disclaimer, I am not a constitutional expert. I'm just a citizen of Canada who feels that we deeply need to understand and know our Charter of Rights and Freedoms so that we can make sure that they are always being upheld and protected by the government. Um, our rights do not come from the government. The government has a responsibility to uphold our rights, which are God-given rights. And we need to make sure that we always hold the government accountable in upholding our rights. So, Let's get started. We're going to go into uh, section 16. So there's a few different parts in this. So um, it's about official languages of Canada. Section 16.1 says, English and French are officially languages of Canada and have equality of status and equal rights and privileges as to their use in all institutions of the Parliament and Government of Canada. I will continue here, 16.2. Uh, it says, English and French are the, oh, so this is, Okay, so this is the official languages of New Brunswick. So it says English and French are the official languages of New Brunswick and have equality of status and equal rights and privileges as to their use in all institutions of the legislature and government of New Brunswick. So 16.3 says nothing in the charter limits the authority of parliament or a legislature to advance the equality of status or use of English and French. So this is the advancement of status and use. And 16.11 talks about English and French linguistic communities in New Brunswick. It says the English linguistic community and the French linguistic community in New Brunswick have equality of status and equal rights and privileges, including the right to distinct educational institutions and such instinct cultural institutions as are necessary for the preservation and promotion of those communities. Okay, so this last part of section 16 is 16.1.2 and it talks about the role of the legislature and government of New Brunswick. It says the role of the legislature and government of New Brunswick to preserve and promote the status, the rights, and privileges referred to in subsection 1 is affirmed. Okay, so that was a lot of information. <laughs> um, let's go and let's dive into what exactly they're saying here. Okay, so what this all means is that subsection 16.1 and subsection 16.2 confirm that the English and French are Canada's and New Brunswick's official languages. They also say that both of these languages can be used equally in the institutions of Parliament and the Government of Canada, as well as institutions of the Legislature and Government of New Brunswick. So I want to just quote part of my study notes for you. I thought that it really needed to be visual. This says, the charter does not oblige any member of the public to become bilingual. So do you feel that pressure to become bilingual? Because 
our Charter of Rights and Freedoms says that you do not need to be bilingual. Okay, so section 16.1 talks about the English and French linguistic communities in New Brunswick. This part was added to the Constitutional Charter of Rights and Freedoms in 1993. And it makes it very clear that English speaking and French speaking communities of New Brunswick have equal rights. And that the government of New Brunswick have a duty to protect and promote those rights. If you have enjoyed this brief review of the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, Section 16, let me know by liking this video. Also, be sure to subscribe and follow so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. And if you know anyone who could benefit from learning a little bit more about our rights and freedoms, please feel free to share this. Share this on your profile accounts, on social media, uh, send the link via email to people. Feel free to share. And knowledge is power. The more we can learn about our rights and freedoms, the better off we will be and the stronger we'll be and the more thriving we will be. So let's all thrive together. So until next time, bye.